Bobby Ezekwesili has joined the train of Nigeria personalities in taking our concerns to the notice of Nigerians on Twitter about Buhari's method of reaching to Nigerians on key information concerning the measures put in place by the government in forestalling the spread of coronavirus and lockdown relaxation, whose effectiveness and efficiency would enhance the reopening of human activities in Nigeria. This has been received with mixed feelings from Nigerians, which shall be analyzed. Obia Geli Ezekwesili, popularly known as Obi Ezekwesili, is a Nigerian chartered accountant from Anambra State. She is married to Pastor Nedu Ezekwesili of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. She bitterly lashes out at the Nigerian government on her Twitter page that at what stage with the Nigeria government President Muhammadu Buhari give a speech and present himself to be questioned by the media. This method of the president reading speeches to citizens without opportunity given to journalists to probe the ideas conveyed is frankly unacceptable. This has, however, generated mixed reactions from Nigerians, which shall be highlights, highlighted in the following in response to her tweets. At Nasiru Gahu points out that, Anti, this is a presidential broadcast, not a press conference. If you want to ask questions, go to the PTF daily briefing with your neck tag and ask questions. Another says here that, uh, Okay, so when will the president organize a press conference, just like his colleague Trump, Merkel, Nana Kudu, etc., are doing? Nigerians didn't vote members of the PTF. Another says, it's not an expert in that, or do you want him to come and suggest disinfectants like the, like that dull brain uh, Trump? Hmm, nah, if you have any question, refer them to PTF. Another says that we just like copy copying ideas, so because Trump is having daily press briefing, Buhari too must have. Buhari has delighted it to PTF, and they are doing fantastically well. Someone say sarcastically, I like that Trump holds COVID-19 press conference almost every day. If press conference is the solution, how come over 50,000 Americans have been lost to COVID-19. And someone says Nigeria will surely find a way to criticize no matter what. So guys, uh, I don't know what you think about it. Uh, Obi is really uh, talking about our own concern, which people have been talking about. You know, like I always say, abnormalities have become the normal things that they have they've made everybody to believe or they want everybody to just, you know, just follow that pattern. It does not matter. It's not matter of, it's, it's just matter of courtesy. Those who are doing it, we are not, nobody's copying them, but that is just the right thing to do. That is just the right thing to do because just see our next door neighbor here, Ghana. That is just the right thing to do. It's no matter of, oh, somebody is doing it from whatever. But if they want to copy, what is it called? They want to copy lockdown, they want to copy uh, social distancing and all of that, they will quickly go and copy it. Do you know why it is not giving us problem? Because we don't have structures in place. For you to have a one-on-one, -on -one, we are talking of a leadership style on how you are going to be relating with your people. We have said it over and over again and it's like, you know, once anybody raises that that idea or that suggestion or what have you, or whatever you want to call it, or that's a point. They will say, forget it. Is that our problem? Just like the way they are mocking that, oh, somebody who has been giving press statements every day, people are dying on a daily basis. Or people are doing this and that. That It does not matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. But the right thing must be done. The right thing must be done. So, yeah, because most of the people who are coming out to say all this one, and they are majority, I don't even want to mention their tribe. Just like I told one person that by their names, you shall know where they belong to. You shall know where they belong to because... These people, anytime, and it cuts across board, not them, because Buhari is there now. Uh, all the northerners, whatever he does, majority of them, we cannot just categorize or make a categorical statement that, oh, that is what they all do. Even if you have uh, people from the other side, so once they are there, once their people are there, that is just this. Nobody wants to hear anything. Nobody wants to believe that oh, the person is doing wrong because the person is from their people. Oh, let us cover them. So we know that is how it has been playing out right from time immemorial. For the fact that Buhari is there, all the, the so-called supporters, wherever they are coming from, 
they are don't they don't see anything wrong everything is fine just forget it the normal thing that we are supposed to do the cultural thing that we are supposed to do we throw everything into the bush because maybe the person does not have the capacity they will just look for ways just to discredit or just to water down what we are supposed to do structure things that we are supposed to put in place that is just the way it is what the woman has uh, said is not out of place but people will downplay it we downplay it even before now People have been talking, why can't you have press conference? Press conference. But you know these people, the people that are saying, oh, it does not matter, I go to PCF. If another government, another person who is not from their tribe comes in, you will start hearing them saying the same thing. Oh, press conference, come press conference. Uh, after all, when their old man was there, people were shouting press conference. But you are forgotten that you were supporting it, that it does not matter. I was even discussing with somebody today about a Nigeria problem. I just see, I said, you know what? If you we talk about uh, the federal uh, the, uh, the federal the federal level what has been happening, let us. The person was talking about okay people who want to go their separate way. Oh, the person feels that it's still going to be the same pro the same thing. Okay, now okay, the so solution to the whole thing is let us have a uh, restructuring. I say even the restructuring you are talking about all of those things like I always say, there are principalities and power all over the places. Let them try to categorize them or separate them to their different regions. Those people, they will still come with the same character. They have been exhibiting at the federal level. They will still bring it to the regional level as well. That if really we want to have that change, let us let it start from the state. The state governors, they have a, a, a power to a very large extent that they do a lot of things. They have a this security vote. They will boast, oh, they are the chief security officer of that state. As we have a minister for health at the federal level, we have commissioner for health. As we have minister for education, we have a, a commissioner for this. At that state level, we still have a state assembly. But at that state level, they still do all manner of things. But they just want everybody to believe that the problem is coming from the center. It's coming from the center. They will have a, their state assembly too. They will, that, those are the people that will still sit down. They will tell you, once a governor starts for four years, is entitled to life pension and the, the 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 money we are talking about or the incentives we are talking about they are not just mega incentives we are talking of humongous salary and allowances that you are going to be getting for life so what are we talking about and some people will sit down there the masses of that state will not even be able to say anything and they will just pass it on into law and nobody knows what is happening so what is happening at that center is being replicated even at the state let us even start from there you see that most of these governors, you see that a younger ones, they will still come. The ones that you see, see, you think that they are more educated to a very large extent, you, they will still come and do the same thing that the old ones have been doing. They are only just to come. Eh, no matter, eh, you pay salary, that's it. At the end of the month, you go to Abuja, collect money, eh, you pay salary. What are they bringing these new people? Just go and check all those eh, new eh, governors. Majority of them are in their 50s. What have they brought to the table? Nothing. It's just the same thing. It's just the same thing. So... I just say the problem is just is everywhere. The problem is everywhere. This is a policy we are talking about. The state governor or the state government, they they have they have been able to put down all this. Uh, what is it called? I don't even know how to put it, but that's just what is coming. That's what is just coming uh, into my mind. They've been able to relegate the local government chairman. If you have local government chairman that are not fun, if really they are functioning, then from there you try to. Uh, uh, take it down to councillors. From those councillors, they will be able to know how many. Uh, from that, uh, from that local government, you have different, different way, walls that will be reporting. Many councillors that will be reporting to the local government chairman. So then, then the government will be able to reach every nook and crannies in this country. But they will not want to do it. Even the state level, at the state level, they've been able to model all of them up. They are not functioning. You just be surprised that we still have councillors in this country. Yes, they are there on paper, but in reality, they are not there. They are the ones that are supposed to be whatever they are supposed to be closer to the to the roots to the grassroots then they will be able to take the complaints of those people you know that how many communities do we have how many houses do we have in this uh, world that councillor will be able to do that but they've been able to scatter everything now the, the whole thing is just is not becoming so big we, they will tell you we have a upper and lower chamber oh the other one the lower one they are the ones that are supposed to be representing everybody but do you even know them you don't know them they are just there or doing their own thing so it's very very uh, uh, how would I put it? It's just, it's just everything is just confusing and it's confusing and everybody just, just. I don't just even know the. I'm, I'm even lost of lost of words. 
everything is frustrating. I think that's just the word. You are just frustrated with many things going on. What I Obi, Obi Ezekiel has come out to say is not out of place, but people will sit down play it. And that's why we are, we, we are where we are. Abnormalities has be, have become the normal thing. Unqualified, really the qualified. What do we have to do? The same masses that are supposed to stand up and do the right thing and say the right thing, they will be under under any uh, some people because they are loyal to some kind of people. It's it's just a pity. It's really a pity. Someone says Nigeria problem is not COVID nineteen, but the illiteracy of the educated Nigerians will see nothing wrong with the system as long as the person there is from their religion or region. That is it. Nigeria is a country of grossly divided across tribal and religious lines. No meaningful progress will be made in this country the way we are now. Every good or bad issue is analyzed on tribal and religious sentiments instead of on ideological ground. All this uh, unagrama no work. I beg, make them go Madagascar, bring the cure for coronavirus. Why do we keep wasting our time at a bus stop? that we know the boss will never pass and this the person is just frustrated just like you know just forget about it because there's nothing you're going to say from that eternity it won't change anything but you, people must still say the right thing we cannot just keep quiet and say okay forget it it's not going to change whatever oh now that won't bring food to my table people just downplay most of these things maybe out of frustration or out of ignorance they just like okay let's move on like that so guys let us hear your opinion based on what uh, is the question is saying some people will tell you oh, it's the same consequential it does not matter that is not the problem of course you've heard majority of them speaking in that line so guys leave your comments below let's have your take